do maintain my status. Wow. I am the number one. Yeah. yeah. I know all the city bike docks in the area. I know which ones are usually full, which ones have some empty ports. And it's a jigsaw puzzle a lot of the time. <laughs> this is a bike angel one because I've racked up so many angel points. Oh, wow. All right. all right, we're ready to go. My name is Scott Ambinder. I have docked at all 1,666 docks. That's how many city bike docks there are. When you, you look at the part of the city bike app that tells you how many docks you've hit and how many you haven't hit, people's minds just inevitably start to churn a little bit. It tells you how many stations you've been to. And I remember the first time I saw that part of the app, it said something like 450 stations you've been to. So this is where the idea kind of dawned on me. Wonder if anyone's ever set out to hit every city bike dock, as crazy as that sounds. I decided to not take any electric bikes. I was only taking the manual ones where you have to pedal. There's no battery within the bike. Furthermore, I decided not to take public transit to any of these places. I only took public transit to Jersey City and Hoboken. So I did cheat a little bit in that respect to those two places. Once I had the idea, I started hitting different boroughs each day. And I would map it out. So I would go to the furthest reaches of each borough and work my way from outside in. And so when I went home at the end of the day, I had an easier ride to get back home. but I can't wait. <laughs> well, we're here to celebrate the new e-bikes and they, they just got unveiled and we have a few community leaders here. I think I've read about you on the news or something. Like New Yorker, that was I me. I wanted to be him too, but you know, when, when I found out you. you did it already, it just like, you know, well, I did not want to do it, but I'm gonna do it. You know how many docks have you done about, you know? I'm, I, I think like 400, I think. Oh, that's like, pretty good. That's way that's way in the top 1%, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So we recently launched a feature called City Explorers to start tracking that and seeing what that experience looks like. And actually, we had our first two people hit that target already. So over 1,600 stations across New York City. Which one was like the hardest? What was like the Mount Everest I'd, of city bike stations? Well, I'd say Sunset Park in Brooklyn was the mm. toughest because I'd ride my bike yeah. from upper Manhattan down to lower Manhattan over the Brooklyn Bridge yeah. into Brooklyn and then basically the whole distance oh, down again. Yeah. So let me tell you a little bit how this film got started. Uh, I was riding a city bike to the Bronx from Queens over the Triborough Bridge and I have a torn meniscus in my knee so I have a really hard time pushing off on my knee and I couldn't get the bike up the bridge. I was struggling and Scott was there in front of me and saw me struggling. Well, I, I saw someone trying to lift a bike over steps and that's not easy for anyone. And I think I did what anyone would do if they saw someone struggling to lift a 60 pound bike upstairs. And I reached down, said, hey man, you, you need any help getting this thing up? It's not easy. And uh, yes. <laughs> then we talked to each other and realized who each of us were in the interesting bike community. Bicycles allow the opportunity to meet people and to see amazing things because you're at the level of speed of the world. And, and I think you're able to connect with people on a different level than you are when you're just taking the subway or public transit. I've probably used this thing uh, more times than I'm willing to admit just because it's the fastest way to, to get into Queens. I'd say I've biked probably a hundred times. I lost a few pounds that I wasn't trying to lose. I remember going in to, uh, for my physical uh, and the doctor saying to me, you're, you're kind of borderline anemic. You got to stop with the biking everywhere. And I said, look, doc, I'm almost done. I'm at 1462 right now. I only got 150 left. I'll put on the weight after I'm done. <laughs> this was before I started the journey. I put on 70 miles of pure non-electric city biking one day in summer 2020. So this was when COVID was raging, nothing really was open yet. And I got on that bike at around 7 a.m., traced my journey on Strava. 
I hit all four boroughs that you can realistically go to. 70.1 miles to be exact, all on a city bike. I think I did seven bridges that day. A bike angel, in simple terms, is someone who takes a bike, a city bike, from a full dock, undocks it, rides to a dock that has almost no bikes. And city bike will know that the first dock needed a few empty slots and that the second dock needed a few bikes. And city bike rewards you by giving you points on your city bike account for that. It could be one point, it could be eight points, and if you rack up 20 points, you get a free membership extension, which is a pretty good incentive for doing that. So you could theoretically infinitely extend your city bike membership, which I do. <laughs> Clinton Hill in Brooklyn was one that I had never been to before. I hadn't really ever been past downtown Brooklyn, right over the Brooklyn Bridge or the Manhattan Bridge. Uh, Clinton Hill was really cool. Uh, a lot of young families. It felt like I was still kind of in Manhattan without the hustle bustle. If the city was able to get a step ahead of the game and really learn exactly where the, the dock imbalances were and figure out exactly the docks that were losing all their bikes at the beginning of the day and overflowing at the end of the day, it would increase ridership. Upper Manhattan, specifically between the 130s and the 160s, I'd say George Washington Bridge South is what we call a bike desert. If you dock your bike at any dock up there, Sugar Hill area, uh, Hamilton Heights, you're not getting it back. That bike's gonna be gone before you get out of the bodega and wanna ride wherever you're going next. I love a dock that sits right next to a park, whether it be a big one or a small one. And a park like this, Carl Schurz has a bike dock right on 86th and East End. It sits perfectly, like, like a tiara on top of the park. And it's always got the perfect amount of bikes. And if Clarence, you could pan across the river here, we are on the edge of the East River. There's a dock in Astoria Park right across from here. That's also, that was just added last year. And it's literally in the middle of the park. You could grab a, a bike, look right out to upper Manhattan, bike wherever your heart's content is in uh, LIC or Astoria. And those are my favorite kinds of uh, bike docks.